If you really think we're destroying the planet, surely the worst thing you could do is to put at risk, and uh, you know, it really is at risk, the liberal global rules-based order. The arc of autocracy, as some people in my country call it, you know, who hate Western democracy, China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, they don't care about climate change. They don't care about woke either. They don't care about climate change. They don't care about any of this stuff. Isn't that the second danger that these it purportedly is. highly intelligent people are missing? It's very ironic because these, remember, these people are not empirical. They're ideologues. So once they get, I think everybody knew that Stalinism had failed by 1935 or 36, earlier during the Great Famine. It didn't matter. He didn't change. National Socialism, which Mao failed, but the ideologue does not care. We saw that with the Virginia pushback against the left. They didn't care. They doubled down on critical race theory. So in Germany, as we're talking right now, they're going to be burning wood, which is the most polluting of all fuels this winter to survive. We in California have no forest management because we felt that it was uh, empowering timber companies, you know, very careful conservative uh, trimming of dead trees and, and logging. So what do we do? We have these huge fires, these biblical fires, and they put more uh, fossil fuel emissions into the air than cars do, but they don't care because it's ideologically correct to have a particular forest management problem. And so that's where we are. There, we, we've created a very wealthy, elite, protected class and they have controls of the influence in the Western world. And by that I mean the books that are published, the podcast, not this one, but there's very few of us, the media, social media, network news, PBS, NPR, Foundation, all of it. And they have a, a huge megaphone and they have the money, the wealth. If you look at the Fortune 400, these are not ancient fortunes based on manufacturing or assembly or oil or mining or gas or transportation. They're finance, investment, insurance, high tech, bio, media. And they're very left wing people. They have a global market. They're very wealthy. They're ideological. And they have an agenda that they feel is good for us. This is their religion. As atheists and agnostics, they feel we're going to convert these people. We don't want to do it by the sword if we, have, if we can avoid it but they're going to do what's good for them. And we know what it is. We've seen their visions. It's all of us are going to live in high rises and we're gonna to go to a belt around a city on mass transit. We're gonna give up our individual cars and we're gonna use a particular type of fuel. We're gonna think a particular way. We're gonna have a particular K through 12 education and we're going to be the perfect citizen according to them. And they don't believe in liberty. They don't believe individual choice. They don't believe that individuals can make better decisions than they can as government. So they're very scary people, and they, they're not new in history. Every generation or two, they have a new face. If this was 1793, we'd be calling them Jacobins. If it was 19, you know, 63 or 68, maybe, in China, we would call them Maoist. And uh, if we call them, and uh, after 1945 to 50 in the United States, we call them sympathizers with socialism or communism. So I don't know how we defeat them other than the way we've always defeated them. And that is we, a few people call them out and say it doesn't work and we're gonna oppose you. We're not gonna put you in camps. We're not going to uh, violate the constitution, but we're gonna speak out against you. And that's how we've always, we have a better system. We have better values and uh, we care about people, and we're humanists. Mm -hmm. I don't think that they're anti-human, as you said. When AOC said that she didn't want children because, uh, because of climate change, and when you t tell the left that you can't have a society with a 1.3 fertility rate because you'll have a bunch of old people dependent on very few young people whose whole, whole lives will be spent taking care of them, they, they don't care. That, that they like that. The fewer people, the less carbon imprint on the environment. So it, it's very sad because it's insidious. People with PhDs and JDs and MDs and MAs and BAs who are very glib 
can do a lot of damage. And as we get older, I'm not trying to be romantic or naive, but something about a person that works with their hands and they combine the mind with the body and they build or they mine or they harvest, they're, they're grounded to reality. And they know human, human, they know human limitations and they believe that the world is tragic and you try to do your best and if you're not perfect, it doesn't mean you're not good. Thank you.